Mr. Deputy Speaker, I am a first generation European migrant. I came here in 1990 and the passport I was holding was not an issue. I was welcomed and allowed to thrive. Our four children were born here and brought up here. I worked as a teacher and paid my taxes. I was, was like millions of EU citizens, a part of British society. I became a counsellor where my residents first thought me a bit different, but soon accepted that my background didn't matter, but that I represented them well. I became a British citizen and stood for Parliament. Then came Brexit. EU citizens became the centre of a cynical political ploy to divert attention from the failure to invest in public services and pin blame, blame on EU migration. Suddenly I was wondering, am I not welcome here? Do they mean me? And if they mean not mean me, who do they mean? My wonderful electorate in Bath has always looked beyond my background and has just re-elected me with a huge majority. And I feel truly humbled, but Bath is special. The relentless rhetoric and hostile environment created around EU free movement has wounded EU citizens to the core. The government's newly found but false words about our European friends are failing to repair the damage. EU citizens have understood that this Tory government does mean them and they are leaving. No smooth words can easily heal the deep wounds that have been created here and abroad. I feel different about this country now than when I first arrived and so do millions of true Brits who like me are grieving about Britain's lost soul its shift towards small-minded nationalism. They're embarrassed by the mean and self-centered political class and its timid retreat behind its own borders. We have talked a lot about democracy, not just here. The election has produced a result. We will leave the EU at the end of January. My party and I fought hard and we fought well. All through the last Parliament, with only a handful of MPs, we stood up for nearly half of all people in this country who did not want to leave. We demanded a people's vote, which was obstinately de uh, denied us by this, the, the Tories, but brought thousands upon thousands of like-minded citizens on our streets. That is democracy, too. In a democracy, a ruling... I've said no. I've said no. In a democracy, a ruling party, in a democracy, a ruling party needs a functioning opposition. Indeed, without opposition, democracy is dead. My passionate belief that the EU UK is better off as a proud member inside the EU than an ir irrelevant outsider has not melted away overnight. I will not cease to voice this opinion here and outside Parliament. That is my democratic right, and whoever is trying to deny me or anybody else that democratic right yeah. is the anti-democrat, not yeah, me. Absolutely right. yeah, yeah. But I understand that now the battle to stop Brexit is over. For me, we don't only leave the EU, for me, we leave an ideal that I had of this country. I was brought up in post-war Germany, a country that was recovering covering from the ravages of a, of a brutal dictatorship. Britain was a beacon of democracy, liberal values and the respect for every human life. British people then had the guts to find in, inhumanity, brutality and illiberalism. The mission to bring functioning democracies based on human rights, civil liberties and the rule of law to the rest of the world has been a historic British mission. Yeah. Britain, in its long history, has always been global, internationalist, outward-looking and inclusive. Britain understood that its international interest was tightly woven into the interest of countries around them. By saying goodbye to the EU, we say goodbye to those uniquely British political instincts and values. I and my Liberal Democrats will vote against this withdrawal agreement because we believe it to be damaging to our economy, our security, our international reputation, our ability to tackle the global um, um, climate emergency, and it will put a border in the Irish Sea and threaten our family of nations. Yeah. But most of all, we will lose something profoundly British, to be international and leading 
in the continuous fight for liberal values, human rights, and the rules-based international orders. We Liberal Democrats will always fight for that. Thank you. Yeah.